Welcome back to another entertainment buzzer guys. Here's your entertainment buzz. So Sony is at it once again, just like WB with their freaking crazy ass that here's you got a movie, you got a movie, you got a movie. Well now they're gonna make Morbius the Living Vampire movie. Starring Jared Leto as Morbius. And it's gonna be one of those Spider-Man spin-off movies that has nothing to do with fucking Spider-Man, but you know what? We're gonna make this anyway. Fucking awful idea. No one asked for this shit. You know, and then Jared Leto, who, you know, he's a good actor and everything, but he doesn't deserve a fucking movie. This character doesn't deserve a fucking movie. You could do it without Spider-Man, but you don't need it. It is not needed. Uh, what do you guys say? So once again, we're going to get another Ninja Turtles cartoon called Rise of the Ninja Turtles. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, whatever. But look at this. Uh, once again, it's like... They keep going backwards with their fucking animation. I mean, it just looks awful. It kind of takes, you know, the way Donatello looks, looks like out of the fucking movie. Uh, they made April look like a... Oh, jeez, I don't even know what to say. You could tell that they're bringing in this other tur turtle, the one that they had in the uh, live action of the Venus de Milo, whatever her fucking name was. You know, I actually liked the this Ninja Turtles right here, you know, the, that Nickelodeon came out with. You know, it, it was very reminiscent of the classic one, you know, that we grew up with. You know, more a little bit more modern, but, you know, it was still, it was, they did a good story with it, I think. And did a great job with it, just like, you know, the other one that came out in the early 2000s. But this new shit, fucking awful. I, I'm not on board with it. We'll see how it goes. I know they're kind of, you know, they're re rebooting the, mo in the movie series and everything. So it's like, okay, what a, you know... I don't know. What are your thoughts on this, guys? First, all Star Wars movies were getting standalone movies. Boba Fett, Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, fucking Ewoks or something. I don't know. Well, then Solo Bombs, and now they just said no movies were coming out. Well, then they said now that Kenobi or the Obi-Wan movie might still go on to the streaming service. So... With that being said, I'm the, once again, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. I kind of want to know what you, my Star Wars fans out there, what what do you guys think? Are you looking wanting it in the theater? Or are you wanting it on the streaming service? What are you wanting? Are you wanting it all together? Are you not wanting it? Just leave it in the comment box below. Well, the trailer did drop for the Predator movie, and I'm not going to give my thoughts in this. I am actually did not do a first look on the movie, so I am actually going to do a whole video, nothing about but the first look, the whole what I think about the whole movie all together, both tra teaser and trailer. Um, I will have that up actually tomorrow, guys. So, because um, I am switching my schedules around, switching my schedule, my videos around, so um, I'll let, let you guys know about that too. But that'll be tomorrow. And last but not least, Don Mancini, the guy who created the Child's Play in the Chucky movies and everything, he has decided that he wants to do a Child's Play TV series. This is what he said. Now, it has not, no other information has came out besides that. No one has picked it up or anything like that. It's just that he wants to do it. So... A lot of people are out there questioning, will it involve Chucky? Will it involve, you know, the events after cult of Chucky and everything? My personal opinion on it is it will take place. It, it will, I got my, I think it will be a totally different set. It will be totally different dolls and everything. I don't think it will have Chucky. But at the, also at the same time, Brad Dorff has expressed also interest in returning to, you know, to voice Chucky in this series. So, what I am hoping out of this, if they're going to do it, you go back from where nothing after Child's Play 3 exists. You, if you reboot it, I'm alright with 1, 2, and 3 existing of the Child's Play movies. But that's the that's the whole purpose. If it's called Child's Play, it needs to be Child's Play. No fucking Tiffany, no son, none of that bullshit. No cult, no curse, no bride, no seed. None of that shit. That's my opinion on it. But what do you guys think? Leave it in the comment box below. I also will have a ratings of the Chucky movies coming this on um, this Tuesday on the Den of Horror. So check that out, guys. And that has been it for Entertainment Buzzer. Please leave all your comments in the box below, guys. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I do videos daily. I am changing my schedule on these videos. So look forward to that new change coming soon. And until next time, 